Let's build a forge for the blacksmith and enshrouded. Beautiful. I think we've got ourselves a lovely little blacksmithing hut here. It's nothing too crazy. It looks like my ceiling is a little off in the front, though. That's okay. We'll just pretend it's like a nice little overhang decoration. So inside, we can see here that I've got a little chest in the corner. I've got some basic storage materials in there. I put the craft invention here, too. Just because I wanted to see it here, I think it just made more sense. And now we can just get all of our building done in here. I do need to make a grappling hook. I do need to make a glider. What's a rake? Uh, a basic tool used to flatten the ground. Oh, that's nice. That could be super handy. Good to know. Obviously, you still got like a bunch of tables. These increase comfort. So it is something for us to think about eventually. Not at the moment, but eventually. Illumination some bones, resin, a candle, a firefly, and some plant fiber. Not bad. Not bad. I was going to say, we've got fireflies here. Oh my god. Is it recognizing what's in chests? Shut your mouth. You shut your mouth right now. Are you serious? It is serious. It is recognizing what's in chests. Oh my word. This just became the, one of the best crafting systems in a game. I love when chests are recognized as your inventory. So for the grappling hook, I need seven strings. So I figure now, now that we got this place done, two, three. That should be seven right there. There's a grappling hook. Bam, it's beautiful. And what do we got? The glider two string. Glider check. And now we've just got this beautiful place. Let's see what we got here in the forge. So in the forge, looks like we can take some metal chunks some charcoal and make these metal sheets so charcoal metal sheets so why don't we make a few of those this is also our kiln here i'm gonna take the rest of our wood and throw it in here just to get some charcoal churning while we're playing the game and let's see let's equip the glider let's equip the grappling hook i don't know exactly how to make them work i assume the glider will just work with like space oh my god i'm a flying squirrel <laughs> Ha! I love it. Oh, that's so sexy. And so, and then in here, I need charcoal, metal scraps. I've got metal scraps in here, perhaps? Are they all in my inventory? Nope, they're not. Here they are. Here's some metal scraps. Can I do, like, a... Like, just some actions? Split the stack. There we go. I'll take 14 of those and throw them in here. Why not? That'll get me seven plates eventually. I'm going to put these away so I don't forget. I'm also going to put all that away. That stone away. These can go away for now. That's charcoal in my inventory, so I might as well ship that away. And I got some honey. And I've got this wolf meat here that we can cook up. Might as well cook it up in our... I, I love how I made the... The blacksmith's house better than mine. I'm still going to sleep in your house, bro. Okay? <laughs> this is still my house. Thanks for the meat. Appreciate you. Never let the coals die. That's right. So this is cooking. Oh, browse recipes. Oh, now we've got some more recipes since the last time I was here. We can make tar. We can make wood acid. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. 
I don't think, yeah, there's only one recipe in there, but maybe once we get the the plates made, we can see that. But we'll let that kind of just do its thing for a bit. I'm going to eat a berry just to get some health back. And let's throw our honey away in here. Thank you very much. I'm just going to put these in here just to fill up the bar so they don't get filled with nonsense. And I'm just, speaking of nonsense, I'm just going to throw this down. Oh, just like right here. Why not? Just get it out of my inventory. Now we're looking a lot better. We're resting up because we're sitting at the house, I think. Or I think it was because we were in here, perhaps. 1230. No, it's going down, but whatever. Whatever. So let's check out our quests. So now we've got a few quests. Forge a weapon. A scrappy sword or a spiked club. A spot for collecting metal scraps is marked on the map. Is it? Is it telling me about Rookmore? I think it's telling me about Rookmore. I was already there. That's actually where I went to get my metal scraps because I was short metal scraps to make the forge. I went to Rookmore and just uh, put some of those bandits in their place to feel better about myself. So why don't I do that and then increase the range? Upgrade, which is acquired by defeating boss monsters. Excuse you. Do I know where boss monsters are? I don't think I do. Okay, I guess maybe I do. I'm assuming that's a boss monster, perhaps. <laughs> Okie dokie. What do we need to make this weapon? I don't want... Well, I guess I'll take it, but... Let's fix that up. So I can just use two nails and four wood to make a spiked club. A little bit of poison. Interesting. I'll do that. A log and two nails. What do I need? Oh, wait. I think he makes my nails... Let me just take these for a second. Excuse me. And I'll make a scrappy sword. And then I'll put these away. I'm going to put this here. I don't know if there's like a way to just disassemble shit, but... Deleted. Beautiful. Looks like things get repaired too when we come home. That's handy. I also found this wildwood bow in Rookmore. There's like a house like over here-ish that has a lockpick on it. Fuck the lockpick. I just broke the door what right off. <laughs> and with that, I was able to just uh, go pillage the house. So this waypoint here, I found a cave. And I think maybe that's actually connecting to here, which seems to be my boss. So why don't we head over there and just kind of see what we got going on. But we'd be remiss if we didn't try out this grappling spot first. F... Whoop. Oh, baby, that was clean. Absolutely clean. Hey, a chest. And a bandage. That's handy. I like to break these metal crates because they they go down in one hit, and usually you can find some metal fragments in there. The chests can break into metal fragments, but they can take a lot of hits, so I'm not too keen on that one. I like to be just moving quickly and efficiently, and that ain't it. Uh, I don't think that's what I want to hit there. Yeah, that's my way back. Don't try and gaslight me. Yeah, like these barrels and everything. Like breaking these. You can see there's some metal frags. I only got one, but one's better than none. And it just takes one swing too. So it's not a bad deal. To just check those when we get a second. If I miss this jump, it's going to hurt. Oh, hey. There's a grappling hook way up here. Woohoo! That was pretty sick, baby. Doesn't really seem to be a lot going on up here. Can break these things too. Oh, that's a searchable. Nice frags and some string. A health potion, very nice, and some flint arrows. I can see something over here we haven't looked at yet. Oh my god, I forgot about my glider. Oh, it's so nice. Hello, anybody home? That was fun. What's this note say? I don't know. There's a lot of words there, and I'm not interested. Now, don't lay in the bed with the corpse, you freak! Give me these. Got some water, got some logs. You can also break these guys usually, too, to get some... 
get some bonage. So if you're missing your boner, there you go. I didn't pick it up, but that's fine. Looks like we got some... Son of a bitch. What is this? Probably flint? Yeah, we got some flint stone over here. Good to know. I do need to figure out what the, like... Not sit down, you goon. Figure out what the button is to just, like, sheathe my weapon. I don't always want a weapon out. I'm not some, like, crazed man that runs around with weapons all the time. Also, how do I unpin that recipe? I don't want to be looking at that. I also wanted to come back here just since I was next to it anyways to see if there's anything I missed. When we left here, it was nighttime, and we got some extra things. Like, I wonder, like, can I break these pods for some good metal scraps? That's a good question. Can it be answered in one fell swoop of stamina? This is what it's like to break these metal chests, too. It's, like, absolutely awful. Okay, we did get some, and we got... I didn't see it. So I'm not sure how many. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer the question. I did miss this. We got some metal scraps here. Another box. Ooh, there's a ladder to my left, too. Definitely missed all this last time. Oh, because you know why? It was like, do you want to fast drive a ladder here? I was like, F yeah, brother. Send it. What are these? Oh, are these rags? Yeah. Give me all those rags, baby. Some scraps. There's some more metal scraps from that. Some more bombs. Eureka! These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. Cool, cool, good chat. What the heck just happened? What happened? Why did it get so dark? Is it just nighttime? Jeez. The way it transitions just freaks me out sometimes. It's like crazy. Yeah, I'm not breaking those. Oh, that's... What was that whispering in my ear? Give me those scraps, baby. Is there anything in here just besides these things? Ineffective. I feel like I could like punch through this wall to some extent, but definitely not on my. Oh, well, maybe I'll. I'll uh, I don't know. I definitely could, but what's over there? Maybe something? I found another flame shrine here. I thought it was the one I found before, but it's not that one. So it's right here, just so you all want to know. Flame shrine. And if you look over here, we can actually look over Rookwood from up here. So we got ourselves quite a great view. And that house over there is where... I wish I could... Oh, oh no. Oh. Control that better. Wish I could control that better. Ooh, a chest. Hi. That hut, hut is where I f Oh my, what is this? Twisting wand mid-range. Oh, shit, shit. Ugh. Yeah, back it up, back it up, brother. Got the parry there. All right, super caught off guard. I was looking at this epic wand the game gave me, and then I got amp. Oh, there's a bomb in there. Excuse me, coming through. Give me those metal scrap olies. Thank you. Okay, hold on. okay. Now back to this wandage. What is this about? Mana regen plus two, ice damage, shroud magic damage, and those maybe those are set bonuses. Oh, you can salvage things by right clicking. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's throw this here. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Did you just hide from me, bitch? The magic is nice. This is weak, but I wonder, like, what more can I delve into with magic? That seems really cool. I like that a lot. There we go. I was like, come on, blow that up for me, please, and thank you. I love how destructible the terrain is and everything, too. That's such a super nice quality in this game that I really appreciate. 
What's this? Oh, it's the bush. I'm like, what can I loot in the bush? Just the bush. Elixirs and stuff. What's in here? A ring of health. Nice. Equip that. Thank you. Low key, this uh, lights up too, so it's kind of like a torch. Not a great torch, but a torch nonetheless. <laughs> Something over here. Could see it through the wall with my amazing senses. Got some fiber bundles, some other things. If it, nope, well, it's about to be daytime, I think. But I think we're about to have a very immediate shout into the day. Another thing to search up here. Probably some fraggies. Or just wood. Okay. Way to disappoint me like that in front of my friends. Appreciate you. This is where... Okay, yeah. So this is where I went before. So I just made a little hole in here. Kind of found this. And then here's a hut. There was a door here that required a lockpick. But, you know, fuck lockpicks. Just break the door. And then there's, you know, a very sad story in here that you can read about. And then upstairs was a chest. Yeah, where this hole in the floor was. I might have broke it. Don't... Let's not talk about it. But that's where it was. What the heck? Oh, you can also climb in through here? I also came here when it was nighttime, so I had no idea this was here. <laughs> Neat. So, and then we can probably go up here. There's some flint in the walls there, too. Good to know. This is a good little mining spot. Some shroud down that way. So am I, like, heading towards that goopiness? Yeah, I am. I don't think that was the way I went before. I think I was higher up. So I found, like, an actual cave cave. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. My marker's there. Yeah, there's a cave this way. And in here... So uh, there were some wolves in here, too. But I kind of figure maybe this is the right way to get to that boss monster. I don't know. But also, what's this? Maybe nothing, but... Just some poor textures, perhaps. Poor textures it was. Okay, noted. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bandit mask. Flint. Flint. Stones. I heard a wolf. Out. Got a skill point? Is there something else here? Don't think so. It's the only bad part in here is that it's very dark. Oh, hello, climbable wall. And glowing cavern of doom. Hello, excuse you. Is it me you're looking for? Magma? Now we're back in the shroud. I do have six minutes now because of our some skill points. And speaking of skill points, you know, you got a nice skill tree here. I'm moving up in the ranger one to test this out. Inner fires. I can explore the shroud for more time. Snake eater. Base poison resistance. Calm spirit. Animals within our pacified. That might actually be pretty good. What's over here? Like vitality surge. One dexterity for every two levels of flame. Animals within 50 meters will attack the enemy. That sounds really cool. Uh, the Vuka will no longer attack unless provoked. I don't know what they are. They'll help. Those sound really cool. Let's let's go down the animal path. Let's let's be a druid. We'll be a druidic ranger here. Hard to see, but there's I feel like there's stuff up here. Hello. Nope. The inner demons in me want to jump in that lava to see what happens. But I gotta say no. Okay, so we made it out. So it looks like if I had like eat west, northwest. Oh, wait, fire. Excuse me. I need this. Looted. Thanks for the flame, Biatch. Check it out. We're best friends now. It's me and my boy, Wolf. Ooh, corn. Am I getting corn or... 
Oh yeah, corn cobs. Oh baby. I'm just gonna grab like some of these. The dead ones give me the fibers. So does this mean there's good there's gonna be some good farming in the game? Let's just grab all these real fast. No one's gonna miss these. Daddy needs to eat. Needs something else in my belly besides <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh hello, Mr. Wolf. We're friends now. Hello, friend. Need something else in my belly just besides meat. I've been on the carnivore diet. It's been pretty good. But everyone loves some corn with butter. Maybe we can get some tallow or something and just go wild. What does this give me? You're going to get like a fuck ton of plant fiber? Yeah, baby, you are. Oh, that's a good amount of plant fiber. Look at that. She. Take this. think about it later so it doesn't look like there's like an easy way in except for here perhaps where this wall's kind of like yeah I was trying to get like up there but I'll just jump in here what's this string that's a weird place for string and water thank you for playing I like that. That's pretty cool looking. Take those with me. Thanks for playing. What else do we have in here? But brothers, sisters, if you were loving Enshrouded and you enjoyed our little blacksmithing build there, please hit that like button down below. It really means a lot to me. And it's free and it just makes you a really good person. And you feel good about yourselves when you become a good person. So go feel good about yourselves. And as usual, if you are loving more than what you're seeing, make sure you do hit that like button down below for more of that sweet, shabby content. Give me some of these goodies. Give me those goodies. It's in this house. Plant fiber, some wood. I love the aesthetic of those books. They look really nice. There's a campfire in there. Thanks for the campfire. I don't know why I get pick up all these campfires, but there was a door I could have went through. My bad. There's a second floor, but I didn't see stairs, did I? Did I miss them? Here they are. A little bit of a shroud in here. Weird. What if we dig a bit? Rubble? Barney? Was that you? Interesting. But I can get up here. I don't know if I can build something to put here. You can't, uh, Jesus. I keep falling down. Maybe there's something outside. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got out here? Ivy to climb? Nope. Peaceful acres. It makes sense. Aha, here it is. Excuse me. Open the door. Loot of water. <laughs> Scared me. I didn't mean to do that. This is a nice little place. This is probably super cozy for us to like be relaxing in comfort level 10. I don't know. I don't think sleeping does anything in this game, however. And like, I, get out of the bed. Stop. I, I, it doesn't seem like it does to me unless I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments below. But I haven't really noticed sleep do anything. This could be a good little place for a base. Move your base over here. I mean, you've already got like a fully constructed house with a secret sword. The light bringer. This sword illuminates the depths of the shroud to find to the end. Sh sir, <laughs> sir, shut your mouth. Give me that. I don't care if it's slightly weaker than my sword. It glows <laughs> and everyone knows glowing swords are better. Ooh, plant fibers. And this is where we went down. God, that was so bright. Excuse me, coming through. Gotta, gotta go. <laughs> but all right, brothers, sisters, we're going to wrap this one up here. So until next time, stay shabby. <laughs>